I made a terrible, terrible mistake. And I'm here with you today to apologize. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're examining 10 times people got revenge on Karens. We don't want you here. You don't know what to hang on We don't want here. you here. If they great in your country, then stay there. For this list, we'll be looking at infamous moments where entitled, horrendous, and belligerent folks got their comeuppance outside the criminal justice system, instead receiving justice in another, sometimes juicier form. We won't be limiting the list by gender, including Ken's as well as Karen's, and even including an entire organization in one case. Have you met a Karen or Ken in the wild? Let us know the tale below. Not Batman's Robin. Robin, you can't talk to people like that and think that people are just gonna like do whatever you say. In October 2022, stylist Sharon Spellman was working on client Robin's hair when a problem arose. Spellman's assistant, Alex, was meant to finish up the work Spellman had started on the customer's hair. However, Robin wasn't having that, seemingly because Alex is a Latina, and Robin had issues with other Latinx staff in the past. Robin, she's my assistant. Spellman admonished Robin over her attitude. As Robin got more and more disrespectful with her language, Spellman sat down to tell her off like she was a child having a tantrum. This didn't work, as Robin attempted to hit the stylist. So Robin was booted from the salon with her coloring not finished. Honestly, Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and like get to the resolution of this, you can leave with half your color on. Are you gonna fucking hit me? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Bristol Bus Boycott. We have a saying, you're gonna be in it to change it. And that is my word, in it to change it. After World War II, thousands of people from the Caribbean, many of whom served in the British military, moved to the UK. Around 3,000 were in Bristol by the 60s. Instead of getting the respect they deserved, the Bristol Omnibus Company decided to operate the Color Bar, which only allowed white people to be employed. Whilst we can obtain white labor in this city, we intend to go on engaging white labor rather than colored labor. In 1963, Roy Hackett, Owen Henry, Audley Evans, and Prince Brown formed the West Indian Development Council. With Paul Stevenson as spokesperson, this group helped to organize a mass boycott of the company's buses throughout Bristol that lasted for four months. By the end, the Bristol Omnibus Company reversed its racist policy and began hiring black and Asian people. After months of protesting, the bus company lifted their racist ban, and by 1965, Harold Wilson's government introduced the first ever Race Relations Act. Farmer Karen. So you need to go read the rules and read the section about cooperating with market management. Well, I mean, and I will suspend you right now. Most people enjoy getting freebies, but apparently, if a freebie supports the LGBTQ plus community, then some people get really bonkers about it. In 2020, Dan Floyd was at the Livermore Farmers Market in California, handing out flags at his Dan Good Cookies booth during Pride Month. Not on Gail Hayden's watch, running the California Farmers Market Association that operates this exchange, she berated Floyd about giving out the pride flags, disrespectfully calling it a political point of view. Nobody else has flags, that should have been a clue. Even though Hayden tried to backtrack her words later, the damage was done. It caused the CFMA to resign as the management of the Livermore Farmers Market. We are actually very happy to hear that Livermore Downtown will be searching for a new organization and making it clear that we want them to stand for openness and inclusiveness. Postmates Karen. In 2020, all Jordan Gibson wanted to do was deliver a food order for Postmates, covering his mom's job. But standing in his way was a gatekeeping, unmasked woman. Trying to get into an apartment building in Westwood, Los Angeles, the woman refused to allow him to enter, saying, I don't want you here, with a look of disgust on her face. I have the number. You don't deliver anything here. We well, don't want you you're, delivery. you're not, you, don't want you, you didn't get the here. food. I don't want you. I don't want you here. 
there was seemingly a racial reason. She was so adamant against Gibson being there. He that I pulled up in that white. That's, that's my white. That's my white car over there. Hello. He's a black Paul? guy walking around who has a clicker to get into any building down. he wants. It got weirder when she realized she was being filmed and made a barrage of bizarre faces for some reason. After the incident went viral, a GoFundMe campaign was set up for Gibson. At the time of writing, it's currently at $9,677. He says whatever money he makes there, he's going to use to help minority children find their voices. Delivering racism. Instead of a delivery person being on the receiving end of racism, this time the roles are reversed. In 2023, Carla de la Torre, also known as Carlation, released a video of her interaction with a FedEx employee. The staff member was delivering packages to her house and asked for help. When de la Torre responded in Spanish, the worker erupted. <laughs> Since all y'all want to stand there and look at me. She begins mocking the language before telling them to go back to their country. Just leave. Girl, leave. I'm sorry. Go back to your country. I can't understand what you're saying. Get America. This is America. No. Afterward, the employee posted her side of the story under the name Anessa222 and also apologized for her racist outburst. I'm deeply sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It was unladylike of me. It was unmature. However, FedEx wasn't happy bunnies. They publicly fired the unnamed woman for her racist tirade. Lawsuit Club The Ju Lan Club in New York City is a popular bar and Chinese restaurant for famous faces. Celebs like 50 Cent and Travis Scott have been spotted there. But in November 2022, an ex-employee of the club sued the CFO Naomi Ram for assault, battery, and unpaid wages. In leaked audio, Ram and manager Anya Arguello took Jose Luis Toski and another employee into her office and went on a massive rant. I'm going to be very honest with you. Somebody's going to go to jail tonight and it's going to be you. It's going to be you, and it's going to be you for a few reasons. She accused Toski of stealing recipes and giving out free drinks, all while verbally abusing and threatening him. Ram even threw in racial slurs and threatened to mess him up with immigration. You ever been sent to ICE, mother You ever been sent to ICE? You ever been sent to prison? Oh, I'm sure you have because you're going to go to jail today. Toski claims that Ram also punched him repeatedly in the 20-minute altercation before she fired him. Buffalo Bigot In May 2022, Caitlin Bolden, Brandon Hawkins, and Erica Seymour were part of the behavioral health team for the Buffalo Police, which specializes in cases with mental health incidents. The trio watched a video of a black police officer being pulled over by a white officer, highlighting racial profiling, before showing the clip to their captain, Amber Byer. She reportedly launched into a racially charged 20-minute rant slating black people. Saying that black men cheat on their wives more than white men, and that all the black police officers she knows are unfaithful, and that if she saw a black man in her neighborhood, she would be suspicious. Citing other incidents of her racism, including claims she repeatedly used grim slurs, the three spoke to Commissioner Joseph Gramalia, who removed her from managing the department. So before the May 2nd incident, have you felt racism on the job working within the Buffalo Police Department? Yes. Absolutely. Then in December 2022, the trio initiated a $15 million lawsuit against Bayer, who was quickly suspended from her role. Bayer, the department, and the city are being sued for retaliation, a hostile work environment, and race discrimination. Rich racist. I made a terrible, terrible mistake, and I'm here with you today to apologize. Even bucket loads of money and fame can't stop you from becoming a Karen, as Donald Sterling found out in 2014. The owner of the Los Angeles Clippers was recorded going off on a racist tirade about his mistress V. Stiviano being photographed with basketball legend Magic Johnson. Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. You have to. The backlash was massive. The NBA banned Sterling from being an owner for life and fined him $2.5 million. Sent sentiments of this kind are contrary to the principles of inclusion and respect that form the foundation of our diverse 
multicultural and multi-ethnic league. As Stephen Ballmer stepped forward to buy the franchise, Sterling flip-flopped on the sale and threatened to sue the NBA. This sparked his estranged wife, Shelly Sterling, to take him to court, claiming he was mentally incapacitated so she could push through the $2 billion sale. And she won! Delightful. Starbucks Karen The pandemic certainly gave us a host of Karen content. In 2020, Amber Lynn Gillis went into a Starbucks in San Diego and was refused service since she was maskless. Gillis says she has medical problems, but also says masks are not effective. One of them, I get shortness of breath, dizziness, and it messes with the heartbeat. The anti-vaxxer took a photograph of server Lenin Gutierrez to publicly shame him on social media. Well, it backfired. Massively. Matt Cowan created a GoFundMe for the employee. At the time of writing, it has a whopping $105,445. Gutierrez plans to use the cash to study dance. However, Gillis was livid. With a history of issuing lawsuits, she gave one to Cowan and his company for defamation. She was looking for an unspecified amount of cash. In response, Cowan set up a GoFundMe for legal fees that's currently brought in $56,425. When asked if she has any apology or message to the public, uh, no, absolutely not. I feel like I need the apology. I've been discriminated against. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Texas tirade. I'm Mexican and I paid my way here. Oh my God, she's hitting my friend now. Not hitting your One common factor of Karen's is making sure everyone knows their vile thoughts, even if no one requested them. In August 2022, four Indian American women were going to their cars after being at a restaurant in Plano, Texas. But then Esmeralda Upton came out of the shadows and decided she was going to go on a racist rant. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Then stay there. Fearing for their safety, the woman filmed Upton's outburst. She told the four how much she hated Indians, issued threats of violence, and assaulted them. Oh, oh, oh. Come, come closer. Come closer. Oh my god, guys, record. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. Oh, oh my god. Oh, she's hitting me. Oh, she's hitting me. She's hitting me. She's hitting me. On top of being arrested on several charges, Upton also had to contend with not one, but two lawsuits from her victims. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.